Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be having a little bit of fun with tarot with you. So we're going to see who is coming towards you next in your life right now. And so how we're going to make this work today, Taurus, is I'm going to pull some cards. I'm going to tell you the impressions that I get about this individual. And it's up to you uh, in specific, Taurus, to rely on your intuition to see how this relies or relates to you in your life, right? Is this someone, this could be someone that could sound familiar to like an ex energy darling, right, Taurus? This could be someone completely new for you. This could be a situation where, you know, you may have like no communication with a friend or with someone that you haven't talked to in a little bit. So this reading is just really here, Taurus, to give you some perspective and give you something to look forward to perhaps, right? There's something to prepare for. So with all that being said, Taurus, let's just jump into your reading today. If you're interested, I do your weekly tarot horoscope reading as well, which I'll leave a link somewhere around here to check out. But yeah, let's jump into this. Taurus, we have the Eight of Cups coming in here. So this is a situation, uh, Taurus, of... Now, we're going to have to dive a little bit deeper into this, darling. This is a situation where someone, this person already recently experienced some type of distancing um, between them and another person. Now, is this talking about you, Taurus, or is this talking about, like, an old situation? We'll know with a couple more clarifiers, right? Because I just feel like before we even get into too much detail about that, honey, I had a card fall, but I don't know. Oh, okay. It's a, from a deck I'm not using. It's all right, Taurus. <laughs> So yeah, let's get into this detail. Where, what is this person that's coming into Taurus's life? What is this Eight of Cups about, right? Let's see what's going on here, Taurus. Let's see here. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So this was not a happy breakup. This is something that they weren't uh, happy to do whatsoever. Eight of Cups usually does signify that they are the one that left on their part as well. Uh, and then the devil situation. All right, so Taurus, this person coming towards you is someone that left a pretty bad situation recently. Um, this could be, I am hearing parent. I don't know if they're just like, had like some type of issue with their parents, uh, Taurus, or what's going on here. But I do get this strong uh, feeling that they almost like escaped something. So let's go a little bit deeper into this. What is this Taurus going to mean to them, right? Let's see, what is this? individual for Taurus going to mean to them. Let's see here. We have the Five of Wands coming in here in the reverse. So this is a good sign. This is a sign of where even though this tour this whoever this person is, Taurus, they're leaving some type of drama filled situation here. I do get this sense here. Tulip's trying to be annoying. Oh don't yell at me. Um I do get this sense here <laughs> um with this five of wands in the reverse that there is definitely it's almost I feel like going to be a nice change of pace for you Taurus I feel like this is something that you've been asking for almost of where it's just like maybe you know the five of wands signifies is getting changing up from something that you've uh kind of been been given right been dished out right so Taurus maybe you've consistently had people in your life being brought to your life that just haven't been all that reliable right maybe there's been people that just you haven't felt like you know this always ends up something that you know either annoys you aggravates you you know with the five of wands it talks about conflict right something always seemingly ends up turning up with this person you're like oh man like why can't you just been normal right it's like everything seems fine up until a certain point and then things ruin right i feel like this is a situation coming towards you Taurus is actually a little different for you nice change of pace the messenger card coming in in the reverse this is definitely someone that um i would definitely say Taurus. this is someone that probably has recently left a relationship or some type of connection because again this is signifying this sense of just leaving something um something that just wasn't feeling right to them some type of commitment right so i would be saying Taurus, be looking for people in your life that um or people coming into your life that are like recently leaving like a job perhaps because it doesn't have to be just like a social commitment that they're leaving um i do feel like you're going to be catching them in the middle of a transition at the very least to tours so keep your eyes peeled i am hearing for some of you tours is like a friend of a friend's friend <laughs> a friend's for a, fr a friend of a friend's friend you have a friend whose friend is going to be in this process of moving who i feel like um would be i don't know i don't even want to pinpoint it into that degree i feel like you have a, it's almost like through a friend's connection 
uh, Taurus, I feel like your friend actually knows them. Someone in your life already knows this individual. Um, it's an impression that I'm getting. So take that as you will, right? This is all, keep in mind, at that point, intuitive <laughs> uh, for you, Taurus. We have the Knight of Pentacles coming in. So this is a slow uh, churning progression of a connection. This is also for me. Now I know most tarot readers are just will probably be like, mm, Velka, why, how, why, how are you getting this from this uh, progression of cards? But I am seeing that this is someone that very easily could be someone that you meet from a fr like a mutual of some sort because the Knight of Pentacles is one of those like slow and steady wins the race. Um, this is one of those cards where I feel like this is not going to be like something that you just, that just randomly occurs. I feel like it's going to be like a progressive buildup. You start hearing of this person, maybe you see them across the room, but you haven't engaged with them, Taurus. Um, more so in the sense of where it's just like that type of progressive buildup rather than like, uh, randomly just seeing them out of a grocery store one day and being like, oh, we're going to be friends or what have you. We have the Six of Pentacles. So this is gonna be a nice connection for you, Taurus. I am getting this impression that uh, most recent connections that you've been sinking energy into haven't been really fulfilling for you. So this connection coming forward to you, the Six of Pentacles brings in this good message of, um, you know, what you put into the connections is what you're going to be given, in fact, if not more, from this connection towards the Six of Pentacles is just a very nice, nice balance of energies where it's just like, there's never like one side um, weighing things down too much. Um, so this is really going to be, I would say, like an extremely refreshing connection for you, Taurus. A very nice change of pace. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's do a best case scenario when it comes to this connection for you, Taurus. Let's do a best case scenario when it comes to this person. <laughs> let's see here. I did see the uh, Three of Pentacles try to come out as well. Um, so I'm going to take note of that mentally. So the Three of Pentacles, the Hermit card, as well as the King of Wands coming in here. <sighs> Interesting, Taurus. I do feel almost as if once this uh, connection comes into play for you, uh, once you guys start actually convening with one another, conversing with one another, rather, I get this impression that you guys are, like, kind of just going to disappear for a little bit. Like, you, you guys aren't going to, like... <sighs> Um, only way I can make it as an example is where it's just like you end up having like a deep connection with someone and then for a long time, for a while, y'all don't even find any interest in connecting with other people because you guys just share so many similar passions with this Knight of Wands and this is where you guys are just functioning off of. Maybe you both are very much so into camping or hiking and I do just get this impression that you guys would just take it to the umpteenth degree and do something like, you know, going out camping for like a week at a time. I do feel like they just complement your energy extremely, just very nicely, Taurus. And it's because of this, you know, this nice change of pace that you're getting with them um, that I feel like it's just the only thing to be worried about, Taurus, for you, for you on your end is in terms of um, not having them be your world is, is more so the message I'm trying to get at is where it's just like this is something that is going to be a nice change of pace for you but you don't want to suffocate this connection you don't want to um fast try to fast pace this connection um or really associate put too much of your happiness based off of this connection I see you guys relating on a lot Taurus um but that is just something that is coming to mind of where it's just um I just don't want you to go all in quite yet. More so just from a personal perspective, just because of this Eight of Cups here and that Devil card that we had for them, Taurus. So naturally to me, I'm just like, they are leaving some type of heavy situation. Um, I am, I just get this impression that there is gonna be some type of baggage attached with them, whether this is like having a kid. I mean, not that kids are baggage, but it's just like, it's not just like a, like, it's not just like a black and white situation where it's just like this person just coming into your life and like just a clean slate entirely. It's not like that. No kitty. Let's go. <clears throat> All right now, Taurus. So let's wrap this reading up for you, Taurus. Let's see if we can get any final positive messages for you coming in. All right, we're going to do three. I'm seeing the number three. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright, the Nine of Wands in the reverse, with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So this is something, Taurus, that you guys have been feeling pretty antsy for a while. You've been feeling pretty antsy, you've just been like, ugh, like, you know, for some of you guys, you may have been losing faith, or almost for some of you guys, in terms of romantic sense, you know, almost finding 
a little bit too much happiness in being single or giving up the idea that you're going to be finding someone that's, you know, going to be a nice match for you. You know, maybe Taurus, you just recently before you got into this reading just had a, like a bad date or something or a bad connection or a bad experience with someone. And it's because of this, you're just like almost considering being like, oh, is it me? Do I need to change something up? Do I need to just move, honey? Do I need to look at different sites? Right? You know, I feel like this sense of where it's like you, there's almost this flightiness and where it's like you almost feel like you have to drastically change yourself to um, bring in anyone of like actual substance in your life. And this is definitely coming to an end, Taurus. So keep your eyes peeled. Remember that this is definitely going to be someone where you're catching them in the middle of a transition. And I just see this is going to be a very refreshing connection, a nice change of pace of a connection for you, Taurus. So yeah, that is the reading that I have for you, Taurus. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to if you'd like to book a private personal reading with me, Taurus, my website is just simply Velka. I leave it linked down below along with my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. It's all just simply Velka. And yeah, I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future, Taurus. Remember, I do your weekly tarot horoscope reading every Monday, so be sure to check those out. I love you so much, Taurus. Bye.